Hello people, how are you? In this video, let us look at this uh, application called by the Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. Where is Kharagpur, people? So, look at this. It is in uh, the east of India. Okay. In West Bengal. Okay. So, basically, these people started, they started the School of Medical Science and Technology in 2001. Okay. And... They offer this uh, Masters in Medical Science and Technology that is MMST for MBBS graduates. I think this one is uh, latest. Okay. Actually, I'm not able to find out when they launched this one for MBBS graduates. So, let's go with 2001 itself. So, basically here what they are saying is it will impart science and engineering skills to medical professionals. Are you able to see? Science and engineering skills to medical professionals and train them for the state of art medical research. Okay, medical research, medical imaging, molecular imaging, image analysis, biomaterial, implants, biophysics, regenerative medicine, stem cells, medical statistics, telemedicine, bio, biomedical instrumentation, early detection of cancer, immunotechnology, clinical markers, discovery, personalized medicine. I'm just reading the whole thing. Just bear with me. Biosensors, point of care diagnostics, recombinant DNA technology, regenerative medicine, biomedical simulation, wound research, preventive and promotive healthcare system and so on okay so basically what i'm trying to tell you here see if you have done mbbs okay and you're looking out for options what to do next so this one could be an option for you mmst right mmst medical what is the full form people medical sorry masters in medical science and uh, medical science and technology okay so this is a master's degree remember so you will become a master's you will not just hold a bachelor's degree after mbbs right you will be holding a master's degree apart from this they have they have a lot of ms and phd programs okay but here we are focusing on this mmst because it is only for mbbs graduates so you will have that uh, difference if you are looking for that so we are making this uh, video now because this uh, online application is going to start in the next two days and then you will have to uh, apply by 31st January. Okay, then you will have an exam to give uh, which will be an MCQ based exam with negative marking and by March uh, uh, 17th 2024 you will be writing the exam okay so also they have a stipend uh, if you work in their hospital etc we will tell you that okay see if you work 10 hours per week in their hospital bc roy technology hospital iit kharagpur you can get 25000 a month just by working 10 hours per week that is let us say 3 hours per day and just for 3 days okay you will be getting 25000 per month which is good i feel so they will focus on all these things which uh, you can read uh, if you want in detail and after this what opportunities will you have you will be um, uh, see what they're saying is these two fields are merging rapidly and hence you will be able to become very vulnerable right that's what i'm trying to say so you can get successfully employed into organizations like g healthcare philips uh, drdo siemens uh, renowned hospitals etc but again, I feel that you should have a knack for the engineering and that uh, craze about those medical instruments, etc. So this is called as MS, uh, MMST uh, 2024. Look at this. So how many years course is it? So it's a three year postgraduate program. Okay, that is after your graduation. So it's three years that you will have to spend here in West Bengal and IIT Kharagpur. So you please think about it. You have like six semesters. So look at each semester and just see if you actually like all these subjects to read about them. I definitely love it. So semester one, then semester two, uh, you have some electives also here. You can choose any one elective they are saying. Semester three, then semester four, then you have uh, even healthcare management they are teaching. Okay. Then five, six, six is the last, right? Sixth semester. Okay. Just see if you like any of these nanomaterials, neuroscience, biometallurgy what i feel is this is good because it is only for mbbs right so if you're interested please apply uh, uh, online you can fill this application you might need to spend about 1800 and if you're female just 900 but look at this these points are very critical here you should understand here let me zoom in here so that you please focus this you should have studied maths at plus two level which i think most of you haven't studied right so you should have studied maths uh, even as an additional subject if you have studied it's fine but you should have studied maths at plus two level which includes all the 
calculus differentiation integration all those complicated things you should have your internship certificate and you should have got 55 percent aggregate in your mbbs which is hard because rghs makes only 50 percent and these people are saying 55 wow just see if you can meet all these requirements so the exam is conducted in many cities that you don't have to worry much so the exam is a two hour duration exam we told you somewhere in march it will have 120 questions out of which 75 will be from your mbbs syllabus itself so here the syllabus also they are telling you 75 questions will be from mbbs remaining will be what physics chemistry and maths which also we will tell you what exactly will come here you will have uh, negative marking also so physics chemistry maths what you need to know in physics you should know newton's law of motion translation rotation coulomb's law ohm's law ohm's law that is the resistance magnetic field faraday's law photoelectric effect bohr atoms model radioactivity chemistry you will have to know all these uh, nuclear chemistry amino acids carbohydrates carboxylic acids ketones alcohols aldehydes acidity basicity and then mathematics you should know algebra are they asking you integration yeah integration as the inverse process of differentiation integration by parts i really don't know this one i think i will take that chance here yeah, i will just choose a b c d and take a chance what do you want to do people arithmetic geometric harmonic progression everything seems out of my brain in medical sciences okay this they told you 70 per 70 questions isn't it from mbbs itself which they are putting all the subjects here no problem here wait wait don't get put off by that integration okay i'll tell you wait okay see here know what they've done they've given the previous year question papers okay you just sit and solve this 120 questions are there answers they have not given people um this is the 2016 paper and this question is so long so 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 long let's just read this one question two identical balloons uh, and two identical cylinders of gas one cylinder has helium uh, molecular mass nitrogen uh, both cylinders weigh the same which balloon will be inflated faster when the cylinders are open and why to read this question i need some 10 minutes and understand in my brain so please don't get um, don't get scared okay whatever you don't leave it just take a guess there whatever you know biology at anatomy you will clear don't worry so if you want more information you can reach out to these people as a closing point let's just look at the facilities that they are uh, telling you that they have they have collaborated with many universities they are saying of the usa singapore japan and ames delhi lucknow calcutta trivandrum india trivandrum something texas instruments also they have uh, they have um, joined up with because those people also have a lot of medical equipment this website is very nice it even gives the faculty names uh, who are teach who are going to teach you it even says what labs they have you know so many labs they have all those labs also they have listed but they have not listed what achievements have the students made what achievements has iit kharagpur as such ha has done in medical science and technology that i did not find here see you can see here that i did not find okay but but one thing i know these people are trying to build artificial heart which is cheap they are trying to build a lot of devices which are cheap but uh, let me tell you the reality here the actual devices that we use in our hospitals these come from abroad okay the devices which are actually used they may be uh, internally developed here etc but they come with fda approval ce certification etc from abroad okay so anyways this is our way of uh, getting involved uh, mixing medicine and uh, engineering see when uh, medicine has to improve fast it needs engineering okay with engineering medicine improves fast so you should understand that and if you love um, uh, medical science and technology, if you like technology, please go for it. This application has been called for right now. Bye-bye. Guys, the course fees they have not mentioned, okay, as to how much the course, three-year course will cost you. And looks like the number of seats also is very low. Okay, so that information will update once we get, uh, we will update in, in the comment section, okay.